up with your friend? We're doing two scariest true New Year's Eve stories to end 2020 from Mr. Nightmare. Now, since the New Year's is upon us, since we want to start fresh, you know, since 2020 being such a sucky year, especially for me, because it's just, I have my ups and my ups and downs, downs and ups. It it been a roller coaster for me, huh? And uh, I will start fresh in twenty twenty and twenty twenty one. And what a way to start fresh with a scary video, even though it is today the last day of twenty twenty or tomorrow. It's one of the two, but twenty twenty is wrapping up. So. Let's jump into it. Okay, man. I almost lost track. My bad. My fault. That was my fault. See, that's why people don't subscribe to me that much. Because I'm unprofessional. For college. I started drinking a lot more than I did in high school. It changed me. During winter break, I came back home to my parents' house to spend the holidays with my family. Really? Did he say he started drinking was just becoming school? a holiday that I looked forward to, since it entailed a lot of partying hmm. with other people my age. It was New Year's Eve night. My parents were out at a friend's party. I had my two best friends over. I'll call them oh, Jim and Steve. Go. That was really our hometown squad back then. We didn't have that many other friends that liked to go out. I had them over to drink and hang out while we figured out our plans for the night. Jim apparently was talking to this girl who invited him to a party across town. She told him that we could come too. Having people so that was our plan. When you're not we downed a few to. shots of rum, then polished mm -hmm. off a few cans of beer each. And we each were pretty drunk. And drinking. Jim called an Uber to the address the girl gave him, and we all split it three ways. Jim said he never met this girl, but that they matched on Tinder a week ago, and that she was wait, really pretty wait, and seemed wait, 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 based wait, on wait, her texting wait, 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 who the who? The Uber you mean to tell me? He ain't never met this girl. But he met her uh, on Twitter. What's that? Not, I was about to say Twitter. Uh, uh, you, you, dang it. Yeah. On the, on the little, little date now. Oh, yeah. Tinder. Tinder. Yeah, Tinder. Met, oh, met her on the date now. And they, they finna, they, they finna hang out with her. They don't know nothing about her. They about to get, yo, they about to get messed up to the most highest of messing up. They finna get jacked up. I already know. They finna get jacked up. Never pulled us up in front of some storage looking up. building. This was apparently the address. We were confused. Jim read the address over, and we all confirmed on our phones that this building was what came up under the address. Before allowing the Uber driver to leave, Jim confirmed with the girl he was talking to that it was in fact this building and not a house. Almost instantly, it's she not texted gonna be back her. confirming it's gonna be a man named so Jim. We all got out from the Uber big and he slowly disappeared down the street. We made jokes about not really Jack wanting to go up. in and calling the Uber to come back, but ultimately we ended up just going in. We looked for an entryway, and it seemed there was a small door left open the with Uber a big guy standing back. by it. They seen that we approached him and they asked if this was the party. Yeah. He nodded his head and pointed in the doorway without saying a word. Pretty sketchy. We walked into this very dark, narrow hallway, following a lone ceiling light hanging at the end of the hall. Whoa. We were getting closer to the sound of the loud, rumbling music. We got to the end of the hall and found mm. the opening to, I guess, what was supposed to be the party floor. It wasn't nearly as big on the inside as the outside. It was very dark, the only mm. lighting being from a couple cheap-looking strobe light machines. There wasn't a huge crowd, maybe 20 to 30 people sprawled out throughout the area. No one was really dancing either. Everyone was kind of standing in their own little circle. Hey, it's me, your skin. What? Don't do that. Sorry. A lot of people were just sitting in chairs by themselves, kind of eyeing us down. The weirdest and most off-putting thing of all, though, we didn't see any females. The music was very loud and hard to talk over, so we wow, moved to a corner further no from the speakers. You better run out! I yelled at Jim to call that girl and ask her where she is. She texted back saying she's in the back section, just beyond the double doors. She told us to meet her there. Mm -mm. This mm -mm. didn't sound mm -mm. right, and I told Jim that. He said we'd just take a peek back there and leave if she's not there. Jim led the way, following the directions from this girl. 
We went through these two doors held open by door stoppers into this dimly lit narrow hall with a bunch of doors. As we walked, someone quickly appeared from one of the rooms and whispered something in Jim's ear. Jim kept saying what, looking very confused. Then he turned to us and waved his hand saying, let's just get out of here. We didn't question it. As we walked back through that little main dance hall, I could tell we were getting looked at again. Some big guy at one of the doors tried stopping us for whatever reason. See? We just walked through him back down the hall we came through. We noticed he was following us, and finally Jim yelled run, and started sprinting down the hall. That's when I knew shit was real. We followed, and the guy it behind being us real. yelled at the top of his lungs, yo, stop them, probably to the guy standing at the entry door. He didn't really make an effort to stop us, though, when we ran back out the front door. We ran out of the little parking lot into the closest main road, where we called an Uber again. Jim explained that the dude in the hall whispered in his ear to get out of there before midnight, as they were going to trap everyone in there. Jim didn't ask any more questions. He basically just told us to haul ass out. This led us to believe that girl he was talking to didn't exist. It was just some kind of trap to lure unsuspecting victims into whatever was about to go down in that building that night. We made an anonymous police report that something was going down in there that night, and that it should be investigated and shut down. We spent midnight on that New Year's sitting in my living room by ourselves. We never mm -hmm. found out what transpired in that warehouse. Now about to get jacked up. I hate ads. Eve, they were messed up. Messed up my the girlfriend whole and I were hosting a party in my condo. I invited about thirty people and said they could bring whoever they want as long as they were respectful. Of that place. As we were setting this things up for the party, we kept losing things and then finding them back in the same place. A this had get to like me the before. TV remote, her bag, before, or just anything we seemed to at the moment. The T-virus. We thought we were just imagining it, but it kept happening over and over. We figured it was the two of us just accidentally moving stuff without the other knowing. Our guests started pouring in around nine to ten. That's when we told everyone to arrive. Since my friends would be bringing friends, I positioned some of my surveillance cameras in rooms with valuables, such as the living room and the bedrooms. By the time everyone was over, things were still kind of disappearing. Like at one point, I wanted what? to show my friends my new pair of shoes my girlfriend got me for Christmas, and I couldn't find them. Oh, she got even more. My window was oh, left open in my bedroom. Albeit, it was a party, and I had to assume my girlfriend where some of the guests had to do with some of the stuff. But it started getting weird. Nevertheless, the condo was crowded, and I didn't have much time to be worrying about this stuff. I told myself I'd check the surveillance footage after the party, or if things persisted, I'd check it during the party. There were a handful of faces I didn't recognize, but I met most of them through whichever friends brought them over. Uh -huh. That time of the night that people either can't wait for or dread finally came, and we all started to gather around the TV to watch the ball drop in Times Square. Mm -hmm. I looked around the room and noticed some tall guy in a black trench coat facing the wall opposite the TV. He was looking down at the couch doing something. Oh, I was about to ask my friend Hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm in a hold up place. You gotta leave with all that. You can't be up in this house with a trench coat on looking like you from the, from the daggone mattress. What you, what you, what you got going on, player? You sitting over here by yourself in a trench coat. Just over here like this. Tell me about something. What's she doing over there? Huh? You got my Jordans? Huh? Huh? You got them? Give them up. I'm... Look at, look at my skin color. I don't play about that. You don't give up my Jordans. I'm taking your coat. What is, what it's gonna be? Huh? Huh? Don't come in with that nonsense play. You gonna have to bounce. Matter of fact, you keep Jordan's and and the coat and all that and just bounce. Cause I uh-uh. Don't even turn around because I don't want to see your face. Mm-mm. No sir. And if you knew who that was. But everyone started counting down. So I turned my attention to that and joined in. Everyone yelled Happy New Year and all that. And oh. Anyone who came as a couple got their New Year's kiss. What a scheme. When everyone settled down a bit, I realized that tall guy wasn't in the room anymore. I asked Alan if he knew who that tall guy was, and he said, yeah, that's Tom's friend. So that was that. One of my friend's girlfriends eventually came downstairs and yes. said whoever the guy in the trench coat was mm -hmm. wasn't leaving the bathroom. I told her it was Tom's friend, and to just use the master bedroom bathroom. So she went back upstairs. Eventually the clock hit 2 a.m., 
And that's when things were dwindling down and people were starting to make their exits. Yeah, how about it get when everyone was out. gone, my girlfriend and I said we'd clean up tomorrow. However, we did a quick inspection to make sure nothing was stolen. Her bag was gone completely this time, and so was one of my expensive watches. I rushed to our bedroom to pause the video camera so yeah, I could download the footage sure and play back. We started watching for the time guests started to arrive. I had it on fast forward, and we just skimmed all three cameras. Eventually, we noticed Tom's friend in the trench coat in the guest bedroom, going through our stuff. I paused the footage in a fit of rage. I cut the footage to a 30 second clip and sent it to my phone and then texted Tom immediately. I said, your friend stole shit from my apartment, bro. He texted back, dude, no way, what do you mean? Then I sent him the you footage. Heard what I said. A minute later, he texted back, who the hell is that? I don't know who that is. I wrote back, I was told that was your friend. Once again, he said, dude, I don't know that guy. My girlfriend and I got nervous now, so I went on a texting spree, texting all of my friends who came, asking if they knew that person. Ooh. From everyone who was still awake, we got a bunch of uh. no's. So we went to finish the video footage, following the guy in the trench coat. He made his way into our bedroom, opened the door, it. then started dropping some of our belongings out the window, including my girlfriend's bag. No one told me. felt like the room was spinning and my heart was in my throat. Then, the man in the video quickly turned around as if he heard someone coming up the stairs, and he crawled under the bed. We sped through the rest of the video footage. Y'all crazy. Never got out from under the I would have left the house and called the, the police. that we were currently sitting on using the laptop. I saw the fear in my girlfriend's eyes and her temptation to scream, but I covered her mouth I with my hand and whispered scream. in her ear, we're breaking right on the up. count of three. But she couldn't help it. She let out a cry. So I had to yell at her to just run out of the room. I pushed her off the bed and followed close behind. I took a look under the bed before slamming yeah, the door shut. For this I saw him down there under the bed. We made eye contact. It was an indescribable Ooh. moment. We called the cops in the kitchen, both grabbing big kitchen knives. Police made it to my condo in like three minutes, but by that time the intruder was gone, and our bedroom window was once again Jeez. open. He escaped through the window and got away with our belongings. I handed over the video footage files to the police department, and they would review it and record an image of the man's face. Of course, he was never found. At least not by our local police department. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. The whole time I know that was not Tom Friend. I was like, that, that, that's not Tom Friend. Cause Tom would at least introduce y'all, be like, hey, this is my home girl over here. You know, he's weird, cause he like trench coats and all that stuff. My dream. And uh, so y'all get a acquainted with him. Y'all didn't know I didn't, I didn't know big girls like that. I didn't know I know that either, boy. I, th I thought that was going to come out a whole different way, but it came out right. Whew. That's kind of creepy. Yo, I'm not going to have no rare New Year's story because I'm going to celebrate my New Year's here at the house where you're supposed to celebrate it because it's the quarantine season. And y'all know that virus... It's out and he ain't playing no games, okay? Y'all can go ahead and go out there and have parties on you. Whoa! Y'all might come back a little jacked up. Not just from the virus, but y'all heard these stories. Yo, till next time, Retro Fam. Peace, love, and all that good stuff that goes with it. And I'm sorry about the interruption with the ads and stuff, because usually I download my video. But I was rushing trying to get that because I seen it. I was like, oh, I want to react to it. And they, these, I forgot about these ads and stuff keep popping up. So that made the video twice as long. If you guys enjoyed, subscribe to my channel. Try to post every day. Not every day. I mean every week. <laughs> I want to get you up. So, so to the next time, I'm out. Mm -hmm.